Hello again everybody. In this opportunity I want to show you how to use your ENS3 software to build a VPN environment. In this case, as you can see in my lab, I have two different networks, two different local network networks. One of them has the IP address 192.168, that one that's 0 slash 24. And the other one is 192.168.3.0 slash 24. Then the main idea here is to interconnect this two LANs using an IPsec LAN to LAN tunnel. I am using this cloud node as as a um, internet connection. I mean I'm am simulating an interconnect an internet connectivity. And here you can see I had a third site, a third LAN, but I just turned uh, all devices down just to avoid the uh, consumer resources on my computer. As you can see in the cloud I have interconnected the two LANs using tab interfaces, virtual interfaces in Linux. I'm running GNS3 in Linux. And as you can see here in my interface configuration, I just set up different IP addresses for my different tab interfaces. This ASA, the ASA number one, is already configured. I have everything that I need on this side. And these are my computers in both ends. Linux Microcore 1 which has the IP 192.168.1.100 and in the other side Linux Microcore 03 I have 192.168.3.100 This is my ASA 1 in the first LAN, the left, left uh, LAN. And as you can see I already have the phase 1 and phase 2 configured and everything that I need. I have a, another VPN uh, configured but I will I don't need that uh, for this lab. Then I will start configuring the ASA3 with a, with the parameters I need to set up the VPN. Then the first the first thing I need is to define the phase 1 parameters. Basically the phase 1 and phase 2 parameters must match in both in both sides. So as you can see in the in the AC1, I'm using encryption 3DES, and I'm using SHA as hashing in Diffie Hellman Group 2. Then I'm, I'm I am going to configure the same parameters here. Crypto Isaac MP policy 10. I don't have any other policy at this time. I don't have anything regarding VPNs in this ASA. Then I will use the sequence number 10 for this phase 1 policy. I will configure authentication pre shared, encryption 3DES, hashing SHA, DP Hellman Group 2, and the lifetime 86400. then my phase one configuration is done. Very important, I need to enable phase one on the outside interface. As you can see I just have one outside interface and one inside interface. Thus I'm, I am enabling phase one on the outside interface. Now I want to configure phase two. This is pretty simple as well, but there are two things that I need before. The first thing the first thing here is to define what will be the traffic, what is my interest in traffic, what traffic will be sent through the tunnel. Basically I am I have to say to the firewall anything from the one ninety two that one sixty eight that three that zero slash twenty four must be sent and I'm, I'm being uh, uh, sent to one ninety two one sixty eight that one that zero slash twenty four needs to be encrypted through the tunnel. Then I will match that traffic with an, a, with an access list. This firewall does not have any access list yet. Then I'm going to configure the first one. I will name the access list, the extended access list VPN01. And I'm going to define that all my IP traffic from 192.168.3.0 going to 192.168.1.0 slash 24 must be encrypted on the on the VPN. 
Another thing I need to define is the phase 2 parameters, the encryption and hashing as well. As you can see in this firewall, in the other side, the remote end, I am using 3DES and SHA for phase 2 as well. Then I'm going to define exactly the same. I need to define a transfer set and then attach it to the crypto map. Let's define the transfer set first. Crypto IPsec version 1 transfer set. And I will name it my set. And here are the different options for encryption. The first one, I will use 3DES. Exactly the same that I'm using in both end, in the remote end. And I will use a SHA as hashing. Then it's time to configure the crypto map. I have I have no crypto maps yet, and I will define my crypto map. I will name it outside map, and I will set the sequence number ten. I will match the address, uh, I mean the interesting traffic defining my VPN01 access list. I will need to define the peer which in this case as you can see I have in the remote end 10.255.255.2 as the public IP address to say like that. My local IP address is 10.255.253.2. Then going back to my ASA, my remote end is 10.255.255.2. And finally, I need to define my phase 2 encryption and hashing. In this case, I will just find set Ike version 1 transfer set my set and here you have my crypto map that will be used for this VPN very important I need to enable phase 2 I mean IPsec on my outside interface as well this is done using the crypto map command outside map which is the name of my crypto map and I will attach it to the interface outside it is not necessary to go to the privilege mode to to um, use show commands on NSJ. It's just a, a practice I have uh, because I used to work routers as well. If you do a show run crypto map, you will see that I have the parameters I need. I have the address that basically I'm telling the firewall what, the firewall what needs to be sent to the VPN and defining what's the uh, peer and I define the encryption and hashing in phase 2 for IPsec and I am enabling the, the uh, IPsec on my outside interface there is another thing that I need to define and is the public key the pressure key that I will be using for uh, this VPN basically in the, if you see in the ASA1 this is configured under the tunnel groups you can see here in this tunnel group which is the tunnel group that that will be used for this VPN but in the remote end I can see the pressure key but there is a command to see that you can do a more sh more system running config um, here if you have a huge configuration will be you will have a lot of configuration and you will have to go to the end this is a very short configuration because because this is just a lab but but if you have a huge configuration you can use the begin uh, after the pipe the begin key and you can write tunnel group then the firewall will, ju will just show you what is after the tunnel groups configuration as you can see in the VPN I have my key set up in, I have my key set up uh, for both VPNs but this is not a good practice if in the real life right it's just a lab then I already know that the, the key is my key thus I will define exactly the same on my site 
tunnel group will be the name of the tunnel group will be the IP address of the remote end in this case 255.255.255.2 and I will say that this is in a, a type the type will be type IPsec LAN to LAN and under the IPsec attributes I will define the pressure key IQ version 1 pressure key my key you can see I already have my tunnel group defined another very important thing, thing here to understand is that we need to define a known at because if you see my configuration I have if I have defined an object group with um, lo with this name local if you see my object I just have one object and this object named local has the IP 192.168.3.0/24 this is being used to to do a path for all the traffic going to internet basically so what we need to do is to the tell the firewall to do an identity net if you are if you are familiar with with uh, post 8.3 uh, terms we call this identity net if you are familiar with uh, terms before 8.3 we call that no net but it's basically the same we need to tell the firewall that when he found traffic going from 192 168.3.0 to the 1.0 slash 24 he has to it has to um, ignore the net just to say it like that then we will do that NAT first at all I need to define another object which will be a network object and I will put a name for this object I will put the name just like the IP address to, to for easy understanding in this case 192.168.1.0 underscores 24 that this will be the name of my object you can use another name like remote end, VPN, or if you know what's the I don't know maybe a store you can you can write object network a store one a store A or a store B a store B store one two three it's really up to you and here I will define the subnet one ninety two that one sixty eight one sixty eight at one dot zero and here we have our objects now let's define an ad. As you can see, I just have from inside to outside. I have just two interfaces. So my NAT will be NAT traffic inside to outside. I will NAT the source. I will do a, a, a static NAT for the source from local to local. This means that I, the firewall will NAT the local network to itself basically a known at or, a, or an identity NAT. when the destination is also static 192.168.1.0 underscore 24 and I will NAT the destination exactly to the same okay and I will just put no proxy RP you can see the NAT configuration here source static local to local basically not to itself and also I will now to itself the remote the remote VPN the remote network I'm sorry then now let's if we run a show crypto Isaac and PSA we will have nothing active yet remember that VPNs must be used if we need to if we want to see the VPN comes up then let's do a, a test let's try to ping the remote end from the microcore 03 the remote end IP is 192.168.1.0 1.100 and let's see if it's responding oh, perfect of course ICMP it's bidirectional this means it's working both ways but you can try to do the same from the remote end if it's if you want 192.168.3.100 we'll have the same result basically this means that we have connectivity between the firewalls through the VPN 
there are some few commands that you need to know if you want to verify if your VPN is working or not. The first one is to check your phase four, the, your phase one tunnels that are active. That this is done using the show crypto Isaac AMP command. SA security association associations. You can see I have the remote end 10 255 that 255 that two active. You can run the same on the remote firewall. And also you can see the IPsec security associations. In this case you can see that I have traffic from 3.0 to 1.0 being encrypted through the tunnel. You can see I have encapsulated packets and the encapsulating packets. This means that the firewall is taking traffic encapsulating through the VPN and he's receiving traffic and taking out on the, taking the traffic out from the VPN and encapsulating. Then w this means that our VPN is it's working of course. You will have exactly the same result in your remote end. This command show VPN session DV will show you another information from about your VPN. In this case we'll define LAN to LAN, show VPN session DV, LAN to LAN, and this will show you uh, important information about the tunnel, like for example the protocol that is being used, the encryption that is being used, uh, the hashing that is being used, how bytes has been transmitted and received, and also the, the, the duration of this VPN, I mean how much time has, has this VPN been active, in this case two minutes you will have exactly the same or similar results from the remote end. In this case encryption and hashing will be the same. Okay, This is very important. If you want to check the configuration of your VPN, I mean you can use a show run command to check all the configuration but if this is if you have a huge configuration it is complicated. Then you can use the show crypto Ike version 1 to check the phase 1 parameters this will show you all the policies that you have for phase 1 also if you want to check the phase 2 show run crypto map this will show you uh, all the the phase 2 crypto maps that that are available on your firewall you can use a show run tunnel group to see all the uh, parameters that you have on the tunnel on the, the tunnel groups you will not be able to see the pressure keys in this case this is done using the more system running config pipe begin tunnel group this is the easiest command I know here you can see what are the pressure keys defined and also of course depending on your crypto maps for example, depending on the crypto maps, if you want to check what is the traffic match in this VPN, of course you have to use the show access list and the name of the VPN. I'm sorry, I didn't copy. Show access list VPN01. And this is the traffic that is matching the VPN. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, please uh, share it. Uh, please join my channel. I will be posting our interesting uh, labs that you can do on GNS3. And thank you very much for watching.